Hello everyone, my name is Jeremy Andrus, and today I'm going to be demoing the CIDR OS compatibility architecture that allows me to run iOS applications on an Android device. Here we have our CIDR prototype running on a Nexus 7, and at the top of the screen we see iOS applications, and at the bottom we see Android applications. So what we're going to do is start out by showing you the Passmark uh, performance test benchmark application, which is available for both iOS and Android. Here we have the Android application. You can see the Android interface. This is the list of tests that you can run. And now we're going to open up the iOS version of that same app. And what you'll see is that the interface looks and feels just like it does on an iOS device with the scrolling and the scroll bars on the left and the list of tests here we're going to perform the complex 3D test which is actually a snippet from a 3D game this is using the iOS OpenGL library and uh, that OpenGL library is leveraging Android uh, hardware through CIDR's diplomats this is a live action from a, a video game And here we're back at the uh, screen. We can click on the About button to show uh, a little web view. Uh, you can see this is the description. We can double tap to zoom just like we could on an iOS device. And uh, now I want to show you a little bit of the integration. So if we uh, press the Home button, we can uh, head back to our Android launcher screen and select the Recent Applications button. We can see the, the list of applications there that we've been running. And you see that our application is there on the bottom. We can select the Play Store, go back to the Play Store, we can go back home, we can, and then uh, select the iOS application again, just like an Android app. All right, continuing our CIDR demo, we're going to run the Yelp iOS application. You see the splash screen show up. And in the upper left corner, you can see it's searching for location. I think it found New York, New York here. We can uh, see a list of different or, uh, different restaurants. And we can select one and maybe read some reviews. All right, we're going to continue the CIDR demo running the Apple Remote Program, which is uh, Apple's remote control program for iTunes running on a Mac or PC. This has discovered my library on my Mac, and you see it's downloading album artwork. We can scroll up and down here, and we can su uh, select a song. So let's see. Let's look for Soundgarden, and we'll... Uh, Play some Spoon Man. You see the interface is updated. You can hear the music playing in the background. Let's press pause. That is Apple Remote. All right, we're now going to run iBooks, which is Apple's ebook reader. So you see the bookshelf show up here. This happens to be our PDF. Uh, we're not going to sign in. But we can flip back and forth to collections. We have a few books here. Swipe up and down on the on the shelves. So let's open up this PDF. We're going to read. We can swipe back and forth here and read our books. 
All right, we're going to run the stocks application, which is actually an iPhone application that we've taken over to our system. So what you'll see is that it is uh, put into the smaller box, and we can uh, put it uh, twice the size here. This is live data taken from the market. Uh, we can swipe back and forth. We can uh, choose different stock ticker symbols. Uh, 